Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to customize another truck. This time it is the Fast Gassin. If you're not familiar about this model, it is a cab over engine fuel truck. A very cool design by Mattel. It is an imaginary model, but I really like this casting. The cab is made of die cast and all the other parts are plastic. The first edition was the one with the three axles and these two were the later ones in which Mattel decided to cut on the production costs and use two axles instead of three. Well, since this blue truck belongs to my son, I don't want to open this one and change it. Instead, I'm going to focus on these two. And these two are also different. The right one is of my son and the left one is mine. I just wanted to show you the difference between them. Um, the green truck has the base with the exhaust pipes as one piece and the right one is also different in which the exhaust pipes are in one piece with the back end. I think that the main reason for that is because the um, previous design had made them use only black fenders uh, because they were in one piece with the window part. So letting go on that design gave them the opportunity to change the color of the fenders. Anyhow, back to our little uh, truck. Well, it is very little. As you know, it is not really a 1 to 64 scale truck. The only ones that are really 1 to 64 are the team transport sets. And this is really a 1 to 87 scale truck. So I wouldn't count on this truck to be reasonable in comparison to a car that stands right by um, but still it is going to be a nice creation today I'm pretty sure that the additional uh, details and the uh, different wheels will do the job right now I have to create some room for the wider wheels that I'm going to put in the back and I'm also going to lift this truck a little bit because for me it is seated too low. And now it is time to perform a little test and check out and see how the wheels are spinning inside the body. And now you can see that the wheels are turning but not as good as they can. The next step is to permanently attach the axle in place. I'm heating this drill a little bit and then I'm pressing against the plastic. And as you see, it is better than glue. And now again, testing all the parts together and trying to see if the wheels are spinning and it seems to be okay. Now it is time to remove the paint from the diecast part and as you see I've already dissolved the paint by dipping this part inside a jar full of uh, thinner. Now about my design today, I wanted to create a tow truck, therefore I'm going to shorten the wheelbase and all the other parts so the next step is to cut the unnecessary parts and shorten this truck
and here are the two parts that needs to be joined together as you see it is a very short truck but it's starting to get the right shape as I wanted it to be Here is the back end of this tow truck. I'm fabricating this part out of nothing. It is just a piece of metal. Here's a nice way how to create the tail lights at the back. I'm just hitting this metal rod and I'm just piercing it through the plastic, but not all the way. From this moment on, I've fabricated many tiny parts that were too hard to show on regular video. So I've skipped to the end and here you can see the completion of this truck in green and gray at the back. I've also decided to show this truck with some other tiny vehicles that I have on my collection. They are in the right scale for this truck. As I told you at the beginning, this truck is very tiny. Oh, and if you're interested to see how to create the parts for the back end of this truck, you can find the way how to do them in some other videos on this channel. You can just scroll down below and find uh, some other tow trucks that I've made in previous months and years. Sometimes uh, people ask me where I get my display sets. In this case, it is a rubber mat that I've ordered from AliExpress. It is really cheap and affordable.
and once again a comparison between these two trucks you can see the original truck here on the left and my creation on the right I have to admit that working on this truck was a very big challenge for me, but I'm pretty sure that at the end it came out to be a really nice piece. Please let me know what you think about this creation and I will see you soon on my next project. Please take care and bye bye.